Okay, so first of all, very glad to be here. I think the event got really international this time, uh, even more than last year. I, I've been in last year event too, and this year I think it's a more international event. I see uh, a lot of English translation, which helps better to people coming from outside China to the event and learn more about the projects. Uh, so bigger project, the, the event venue is really good. The booths are really visible and accessible, and uh, it's been really good, thank you. I think it's, it's actually very open, as the topic we mentioned, that uh, I thought, because this is my first time being here, I thought, uh, okay, there's a schedule, there's a forum, I think uh, I will sit all day in the meeting room or in the big hall listening to, to some speeches, but actually this is not the way. Uh, we have booths and we have very open communications with, uh, with each other, uh, some are interested and uh, even the presenters themselves, we and the others, we can make a very direct and very, I mean, pure communications. So uh, this is great. Yes, I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so we are Scanoses and Viterja, and we are collaborating together in this booth. So we are presenting a way to analyze the open source dependencies for the projects and helping companies to identify the open source dependencies in their stack and how risky they are. Looking at some health metrics and also uh, license, copyright and vulnerabilities. So we merge these together and we provide a measure of how risky the dependencies are and how healthy they are so companies can quickly identify which dependencies they should have uh, to pay attention to. Yeah. Yes. And actually, we are making a transparent result of what is contained from the open source world in the, our customers' uh, software, in their projects. And there will be a result called SPOM, that is a software bill of materials, that is a list very clear and with uh, uh, each of the projects open source they used, and with the information that is attached to that, uh, the vulnerabilities, licenses, and also with some uh, deeper analysis, like what BTEC here do, uh, is to analyze the statistics from the project, like the contributors, the commits, the frequency, which shows how quickly the problem is solved in the open source software, and also how well it is maintained. Yeah. So uh, all this uh, intelligence with data can make it more convenient and more transparent uh, for the open source world and to, to make uh, the developers, the big companies, when they are using a lot of open source software, they can be more, that uh, they will worry less about their risk that is introduced by which they cannot control. <laughs>